Good morning, KPI land. Even if you're not watching this in the morning, I'm recording it in the morning, so there you go. This is an answer to Rebecca Coombs's question, which is, I've forgotten the question. No, it was the last couple of videos we've talked about um, what type of information to present to your prospects when not to disrespect their decision-making cycle. Rebecca asked, what are my thoughts in terms of what type of content to put into a brochure? It's a great question. If someone's reading a brochure, surely they've made the decision to buy and I should be incorporating some of the silly buying mistakes uh, into that. So it's interesting, over the last couple of weeks I've actually been reviewing a number of brochures on uh, the actual live stream blockbusters, which has been great. Um, thing, step one that I, that I think about is your product that you're trying to sell is based on the customer story. That's the poster that you guys all have access to. I'll even put it in the, uh, I think I should be able to upload it to the Facebook uh, in the group. Um, the reason your product has value is because of the customer story. It's who they are specifically. It's what their problems are. It's some of the mistakes they've been making that cause those problems. It's what they're trying to get done, and it's the relief they get is you, there's my hands going, boom, providing a, a pathway, a method, a formula for getting there. Um, that is what a brochure should contain with a little teeny tiny bit of features, benefits. This is exactly what you get. You get five days with me, you get access to these types of consultants, you get these sorts of works books, you get access to this SAS program. Whatever the actual thing they actually get, that's obviously got to go in the brochure as well, as well as this custom story. Point two is that a brochure is not designed to take the customer from not sold, prospect from not, not sold, <coughs> to sold. That's your job or the job of your, s <coughs> damn it. I'm not doing cuts, <coughs> I'm gonna die. <coughs> no water, I'll remember that tomorrow. I, I will cut this bit out. Shit, customer story, where they are, where they're gonna be. Point two, it's your job or your salesperson's job to take them through that sales conversation using the brochure as the guide. So consider death by PowerPoint and how like not cool that is these days where someone gets up and they put, you know, three paragraphs on one slide and it's like, what are you from the eighties or something? It just doesn't happen. It's all images and like tweetable quotes and the person on stage is walking people through that conversation. That's what a good brochure should be doing. You can go a little bit beyond obviously what you would do uh, at a keynote presentation, but not too much taking people on that narrative. Um, what I wouldn't do is put buying mistakes in there, right? I would have buying mistakes as a completely separate document because at all times I like to be selling by providing value, right? By helping this person make a clean decision to work with me. I don't want to flag the concept that they're not going to work with me. Of course they're going to work with me. They'd be mental not to work with anyone else. It's not until they demonstrate that they are in fact mental that I need to give them this other document to go, dude, if this isn't obvious for you, you, you need to read this. I've put together you know, all the mistakes that people make from some of the things that you're saying in your language around looking around, shopping around, buying on price, whatever, straight up you don't qualify to work with me, although I hope you've got value from this conversation, but this will be useful to you in making sure you don't end up screwed down the line, right? It's only at that point that I would wanna introduce it. So at no point in the brochure would I wanna be flagging that you're not buying from me. You're all in like Donkey Kong, all on like Donkey Kong, all in like Flynn. That'll do, done. Ladies and gentlemen, over and out.